Does anyone have a munitions kit by any chance? Um, a what? Hey, welcome to Play Like a Girl. I'm Maddie. I'm 21 years old. I play Fortnite professionally for Gen G Esports. My favorite video game would be The Sims. I used to play it all the time as a kid. And a random fun fact about me is I played soccer for 14 years. I started at the age of four and I ended in high school. Hi, I'm Margot Brook. I'm a model and actress based in Los Angeles. I'm 29 years old. My current favorite game to play is Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Uh, and a fun fact about me is that I also do Jiu -jitsu. My name is Jess Brohard. I am 31 years old, and as a profession, I work as an esports event host and a content creator. Uh, my favorite video game of all time, I would have to say, is Team Fortress 2, but probably my favorite video game right now is Warzone, so I'm really excited for this episode. And a fun fact about me I'm not a pilot, I don't have my pilot's license, but I have flown a plane. Okay, I'll start. So how do I play this game? I say three things. I love country music. I wake up at 2 p.m. every single day and I dip chicken nuggets in maple syrup. I feel like you hate country alive. music. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, what do you dip your chicken nuggets in? Maple syrup. Ooh, Are you yum. Mm, I'm not really, I'm kind of. Okay. Like oh, a percent of it. <laughs> sure, yeah. It's like you just, you support them. You think it's a good idea. Like we'll allow them to stay. <laughs> so I have never been to Asia. I am allergic to penicillin and I own every Nintendo handheld they've ever produced. I think the Asia's one's a lie. Wait, what was the second one? The second one was I'm allergic to penicillin. Oh, that's very specific. I think the Asia one is a lie too. It's not, the penicillin one's a lie, see? Okay. Oh, yeah. That was the exact thought <laughs> process was it's so specific. That, like, is. why would you make that up, right? Okay, let's see. I used to be a competitive rock climber. I lived in Costa Rica for three years, and I am a purple belt in jujitsu. Those are good ones. True. Like, <laughs> I think purple belt is the lie. Any other guesses? I think competitive rock climber is the lie. <laughs> uh, purple belt was a lie. I'm a oh! rock belt. <laughs> it was a half lie. <laughs> I feel like I was gonna offend you if it wasn't a lie. <laughs> am I the party leader? Yes. Oh God. Uh... Okay, so Maddie, you've never played this, and Margo, you have? Yeah, this is mainly what I stream on Twitch. Wait, me too. Maddie, you do you like only play Fortnite mostly? Um, I've been playing a lot of Valorant recently, but yeah. I was playing Fortnite every single day for like the last year and a half. Whoa, I'm so bad at Fortnite, like so bad. Maddie, how long have you been a pro player for Genji? It has been since September of 2018. So, what do you do, Jess? I do um, hosting for esports events. So I was like the sideline reporter slash main stage interviewer for two years for the World War II and Black Ops 4 season. So that was a lot of fun. And then I also stream, so. Nice. Hosting seems like a lot of fun. Margo, you're an actress and model? I am, yeah. Oh my god. Cool. That's a dream, what the heck? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a lot of fun. I love acting so much. How long have you guys been streaming for? Four or five years? I was streaming on and off since like 2013 or 2014. Should we go get that loadout? Yes, we absolutely Just should. Uh, We're getting shot at from somewhere. I don't know what that guy wants from me. I saw the flashing light and I thought it was cool, so I looked at it. <laughs> <laughs> and I, he shot me. He just wants to say hi. He thinks you're cute. <laughs> I'm the driver. Is this pink? What? Yeah, I just, I literally just got in it so I could change the color. Oh my I'm gosh. I'm actually gonna drive it anywhere. <laughs> Does that say Kauai on it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's so cute. Where should we go? I don't know, I'm following you guys. There's a bounty if you want to pick one up. Shall we go hunt this guy down? Does anyone have a munitions kit by any chance, Box? Um... A what? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's go mop these kids. Uh, you've got an orange level threat though, so I'm gonna pop. No, this guy's yes. behind us, northwest. We got riot one. shields! Enemy precision airstrike, take cover! Ooh. Oh! Oh, you're down. Dang it! Log for me. Ten! Not much you can do without a gas mask. Did we make top ten? Yeah, that was we were tenth, exactly. That's not bad at all. 
Nice. I'm not mad at that. Dang, almost 2,000 damage? Mess him up. Maddie, what's it been like for you being uh, like a female professional like esports? Oh, it sucks. Um, no, it doesn't suck. <laughs> It's pretty stressful because obviously there's a lot of sexism and I, I'm in a, like a, a game where there's like teenage boys like is the majority and they're pretty immature. I don't know. I've kind of learned to just not reply to most of it. Besides like all the, the drama, of course, like the job itself is pretty stressful because competing at a very high level and yeah. it definitely takes a toll on wanting to focus and, and win. Margo, what is something that's really tough about acting and modeling that a lot of people don't really like see when they kind of like look at you in your career? I mean, I think at least for modeling specifically, I think people think it's like a very glamorous lifestyle where you just like travel and get free clothes and all this stuff. And it's, <laughs> it's so not that it's just like, it's a lot of rejection. It's a lot of people telling you how you should look. You gotta wake up super early. You do have to travel a lot and just like, the, the amount of times I've traveled like 21 hour flights and gone straight to work for like a 14 hour day and then got back on a flight is insane. Are a lot of hosts in esports women or men? Like I'm not familiar with that whole yeah, part of it. Really is it pretty question. even or? It tends to be more women, I would say, because how it works. And it, it definitely like a lot of things are changing, of course, but especially when I first started, it was like, okay, men are casters, women are hosts. Once in a while, I would have like a job where it would be like they would specifically want like a male and a female host. There have been specific times when like the client will want a female host for their tournament or for their event and I'm like all right well I know like none of the guys signed to my agency are even gonna be up for this job so I have a pretty good shot at it have you found that that the other ho female hosts that you've met and stuff is it like amicable or is it more like kind of competitive oh, the vast majority of them are so so supportive which is so like refreshing because I feel like especially in the media a lot of times women are portrayed as like catty and like you know, like always talking bad behind their friends' backs and stuff like that. And it's not like that at all. Well, that's good. Yeah, that's yeah. really good. Someone here? I'm not sure where he hey, went. I think he Oh, he ran into this building. Was he alone? Should we bust in and try to get him? 3v1. He's right oh, yeah. Right, right. I think he is alone. Yeah. Oh, my God. He's dead. He's dead. <laughs> can, you know that like proximity chat when they die? Like he's, I could hear him go, it. I could hear him go, oh my gosh. <laughs> Did they it have was, like, that in Fortnite? Awesome. No, thank God. I don't work. Oh, ah. Whoa. Uh, oh, sniper okay. up on the hill. West 288-ish. Ah, dicks. Oh, jeez. Oh, 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 yeah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's ghosted. Yeah. To the gulag. <laughs> oh, no. It's all up to you. You got this. Now go sort this fucker out. What? Text. Phone call. Text. Instagram. Twitter. Twitter. Play hard. They're like the same thing for me. <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, mm, play hard. Work hard. Save. I spend a lot. Save. Mac. PC. PC. Alone. <laughs> As a team. Probably alone. Live streaming. Content. Live streaming. PlayStation. I guess, yeah, PlayStation. PlayStation. Universal. Yeah, Universal, 100%. Disneyland! Drake. 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 This was a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah it was fun. It. Do you guys have any upcoming projects that you're excited about? Uh, I mean, just streaming. I've just been streaming a lot. Making some uh, YouTube videos and some Twitter videos, TikTok. That's about it. I'm kind of the same way. Like, I don't really have too much. Shout out my stream. Yeah, I've, I stream every day. Got that OG name, twitch.tv slash Jess. So, Margo, what are you working on that you're excited about? Honestly, I'm just excited for the industry to start back up again so that I can. Like, I've been auditioning, doing self-tapes and stuff like that, but um, I'm excited to just get back on set. Uh, I'm finishing the Gabriel's Inferno series that we've been working on. And then I guess as far as just new stuff going on for me, Twitch is really new. I've only been doing it for two months and I love it. And uh, I'm just Margo Brooke, twitch.tv slash Margo Brooke. Yeah. Love it.
<laughs> Thank you everyone for watching. I appreciate everyone tuning in to this episode of Play Like a Girl. It was really cool to meet Margot and Jess. They're wonderful ladies. And they're freaking nuts in Warzone. What the heck? I had no idea what was going on. I was getting carried. Anyway, thank you for watching.